Till now we have created just a part of our football team. So we can see that uh, now we have created just um not there added any functionality here other functionalities of course but we haven't implemented the school feature. So we are going to do right now. So as we wanted to create a variable one and variable two. Now it's time for putting the text. Yes, text. So as we have implemented the code where we want to went to, we want it to be the source in this black box. So what we are doing here right now is after draw the sprite. Remember, after draw sprite, you're going to write a text that is text size will be 40. Text size is going to be 40. Then text is going to be remembered. Whenever we add a new text, whenever we add a new text, suppose let me show you. Whenever we add a new text, always it comes to this comma. So we think what it comes, but we don't want that. So what we will do is we will remove this all and simply write here four one. I hope that's pretty clear. What are you going to do? So the position of O1 is going to be 16 and 45 and go to 350 and 45. Now when I research and learn, I can see that this curve is coming. But what I want is that when it is when the ball is touching when the ball is touching player number two, then the player two should get points. So then variable. So then variable. I'm sorry. Score 2 is actually going to be, score number 2 means the score of the player 2 is going to be score 2 plus 1. The same we can copy and just paste it again and put it in. When it is touching the bottom edge, then score number 1 is going to be increased. Score number 1 is going to be increased. So when I reset and run, so we can see that it is on. So when I will hit, Please go in, but when you will touch the bottom edge. And no, 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 no. I hope that. So we have touched the bottom edge and our score has also increased. So then what next? What next? Now if suppose suppose if it's a match of five points. So suppose if the score is equal to five, here I'm talking for Score number one that is for the player party and player. If suppose score one is equal to five, then what's going to happen? Everything is going to be it's not going to be visible. It would be invisible. Or we can say something like that. So then sprite is not going to be visible. So here we are doing Suppose the ball is going to be not visible, we will write here 0 means it will not be visible. I hope this is clear. Now suppose if I want something to be visible, then I will put here 1. Then that would be visible. So ball would not be visible. Then we have player 1 to be not visible. Then we have player 2 to be not visible. And yes, all that should done. Then it is going to show a text. What text? Arrow. So the text it's going to show is first of all we are going to fill it with black color. So player one is equal to then we are adding a text that is that it is going to fill the color black. Text size will be equal to be forty and it will show you when. Then we will just copy this whole, paste it again. It. We will copy it. Paste it now. If score two is equal to five, then it is going to be you lost. You lost. Then we are going to run again, and our game is all all already. So let's just play the game. I know. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh, you. Oh no. No, no, just one point four hot to win. Oh. Oh no, we lost. So we will win if we score five points. So with this, our game is already. Now you can send this game to your friends and you can give them a challenge that if you win this game, then send me a screenshot. Then they can play your game and if they want, they will send you a screenshot. So like this, you can challenge this game to your friends.